Hey, what's up? Welcome to this After Effects tutorial. Today we'll be doing a, some kinetic-ish typography animation with the text on path. Let's get started. Control N to create a new composition. Let's just call it main comp, but we shouldn't need more than one. So I'm using a 1080 by 1350 comp size that is suitable for Instagram. Uh, first up, we create our text. So I like to double click on the text, text tool here. It brings it right in the middle what goes around let me bring it down just a bit so i can see it let's go to our ellipse here so if you can't find your ellipse click on the shape layer here and grab your ellipse make sure your text is selected double click on the ellipse here and it will create an ellipse mask here you will see it in the drop down under mask one let's click on shape here and we want to make it a circle let's change to negative 540 540 and 540 enter so we have a equal sided circle if that makes sense next uh, we're gonna bring down our text here bring down our paths and under path select mask one and this will make our text go onto our path that we have just created and we have a couple of options here reverse path perpendicular force alignment which i don't really fancy because of this extra this thing that sticks together here and we're gonna open up first margin here so alternate click on the stopwatch we're gonna animate the text to keep going round and round and let me just go to this circumference how do you, how do you calculate the circumference of a circle blah 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 3.14 so 3.14 times the diameter of the circle yes so Let's come back here if you haven't already alternate click on the first margin here or if you prefer later you can change it to the last margin so let's do time times 3.14 times so remember 540 was half a side of the circle so 1080 for the full sided that's the comp size as well the comp width as well and then we want uh, our comp length is 10 seconds so let's divide by 10 and then we can go back i'll come over this side here just check whether it loops yep so if it's too slow for you later on you can adjust the speed after divide by 10 you can multiply by 2 multiply by, multiply by 2 multiply by 4 can we multiply by 8 yes so if you want you can multiply it to four eight okay let's get back to this uh next up just want to go through that you can adjust this text size you can adjust the tracking which i think you should because the way that it squeeze probably need a little bit more than usual tracking which is the spacing in between the text uh, the characters so you can adjust that later anyway let's collapse this collapse this we're gonna make this a 3d object as well as create a now object let's rename this now controller now controller and then make the now controller a 3d object as well let's parent this click on this pick whip drag i'm parenting from the text layer to the now controller so whatever the now controller does will affect this text layer let's go into the rotation of the text i want to rotate it this way first so that is uh, 90 degrees under orientation this is x this is y this is z so i'm rotating on y because y y is pointing up and down axis now controller what i can do I move it off to the side and i can see my text over here and i want to duplicate more pieces of this text on the side here so i'm gonna select my text here Control d Control d Control d and select all of this press p for position to bring up my position what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna choose the first one separate dimensions or well, in fact actually i should separate dimensions for everybody to do separate dimensions I'm gonna move this here 200 ish the next one i want to go about 400 ish the next one at about 600 so you get my point each one moving 200 more than the other but what i'm gonna do here i'm gonna control a lot of this with, i'm gonna put the slider inside my now controller i'm gonna right click on my now controller here go to effect under expressions control go to slider control so let's just rename this as our spacing control 
and we'll set that to 200 for now and click on the this this lock here so that it always stays it always stays here and then go to my exposition of one of my text alternate click on the stopwatch and i'll bring out your expression again i am gonna use an expression called index which calls the number of the layer so this is index 2 now controller is index 1 so just follows this number order index minus 2 times spacing control so i'm going to use my pick whip here I'm gonna whip my spacing control slider which means 200 and i'm gonna end it with semicolon before i do that i need to put this in brackets so that this is calculated first if not it will be 2 multiplied by that 200 over there so the first one is zero yes that's fine because i want it on the same level as a now i will delete this all these extra ones let me just rename this to text circle if you don't like circles you can use square you can create a triangle or you can use the pen tool to manually mask out a shape whatever shape that you want so text circle let's control d control d until we are happy and then we go to our now controller and we can start adjusting so this part is really up to your fancy you can if you have never played with 3d and after effects uh, this might take some time for you to get something that looks nice to you so this this is a lot of possibilities here i'm going to press shift p when i press shift p i get my position and i leave my rotation stuff here as well and maybe you want to separate your dimension so that you can see separately x y z let's move our x here maybe i want to increase my spacing because i want to be able to be able to read this what goes around this part cannot be read as easily let me try to adjust here give me a second it is rotating in the wrong direction i feel like i'm reading this d n u o something something let's remove all this text here and open up my text text path my first margin here this expression so my speed here is blah 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 okay come back to my controller here so if you didn't lock it select your now controller and then here it is i'm gonna duplicate this and and call this my text scroll speed okay text scroll speed and then divide by 10 and then multiply by pick whip this make sure you select the right one to our text scroll speed and then do the semicolon thing so instead of this speed we can do a negative one and it should go the reverse direction and you will probably want to try the other reverse path and you adjust this and the starting position is on the bottom here so maybe you want to use the last margin to, to just push it over here so you can read it properly get your audience attention straight away if not they'll be like what is this word and then it's, they just scroll past your post so if you want to adjust the initial position you can use the last margin if you want to adjust the speed you can use the text scroll speed here and put negative one negative two or one and then you'll go the other way if you want you can create another one another slider here and put offset just pick whip this to the offset slider and then remember we did a negative one thousand can duplicate to get more copies replicants replicants and then now that we have now that it's composed this way we want to push it back a little bit push it to the side a little bit one more thing that I want to show you is that we can add a border kind of text around this also using the same method. So let's double click on our text here, copy the same text. You can use whatever you want, of course. I like to use the enter of my number pad key and what we're going to do, same thing, go to our shape, select rectangle, double click on it and it will automatically give us a mask all around here. So I'll open it click on the shape here we'll have to create a path that is much smaller than this for the text to go around so let's do negative 360 negative 400 360 and 400 and this is what we get we can always adjust it later but we have to keep in mind the uh, the size of it so open our text same thing open our path select our mask one and then we can see that our text is 
uh, wrapping around inside. I'm gonna use reverse path because I don't like how this text clashes inside here. Whereas when it's outside, there's more spacing to for readability. And how we're gonna animate the first margin here? We're gonna do time times we're gonna have to calculate the parameter of this so remember just now we did 360 plus 400 and it is the parameter of it so 360 plus 400 so we need to multiply this by 2 so it's actually 720 by 800 so there is only one uh two sides here one side one side we need a, the other two sides so let's multiply it by 2 and then and then divide by 10 for 10 seconds so let's just check if it loops going to the end of our our comb here and yes it's right after this we can adjust our size the size of this and then we are we are able to have a scrolling text another additional thing that you can put your message out into your instagram post so that people can read something here and people can read something here and then you can adjust if you are interested in more kinetic uh, stuff like that i have a few more tutorials on the channel